It's Mix 1041 Boston's Best Variety. It's Greg, Fred, Amanda, and Jewel backstage at Mix oh, Fest. OMG. Jewel, welcome. Thank you. So uh, you've been a, a longtime friend of this radio station back in 1996. Yeah. Mix Fest. You did uh, a couple of mix lounges for us. Also, back in 2001, you were scheduled to do Mix Fest, and yeah. because it was uh, canceled due to 9/11, yeah. uh, we did a, a Live and United thing that you partici uh, mm -hmm. participated in as yeah. well. So thank you, long yeah. time. I want to go back to uh, 1996 in the uh, the Mix Fest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> we've already seen a picture. Yeah, we've seen a picture, <laughs> and I remember I was in the audience at the time, and. Um, well, do you want to take it from there? Or you want me to explain? <laughs> well, I don't what remember happened? the exact moment, but I, I, a, fr a friend sent me a picture today, and he said this was you in 1996 at the same festival, and it has a picture of me giving the bird to somebody that I can only imagine deserved it. It was probably. <laughs> it wasn't like to the you know entire audience really. I'm sure it was a single human that said something like, "Show me something that he shouldn't have yeah, asked yeah. me to show and, him." And you flipped them off. Yeah. And, and they just happened to catch that moment in time, and it's. Uh, it was funny, my first record was considered a failure and I was making my second record and then Bob Dylan asked me to go out on the road with him and they were like, you'll never meet Bob Dylan and I was like, I know, I get it, he doesn't watch the opening act. And after about four nights, they're, they're like, Bob Dylan wants to meet you. I'm like, you're awesome. kidding me. They're like, he's been wow. watching your shows. I've been kicking people out of his show because they wouldn't <laughs> listen to me. And I was like, I get that you're not here to see me, but if you want to go in the lobby, like, if there's two of you left, let there be two of you yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. So I started kicking somebody. people no. out, of his own, out of his shows, and I guess he loved that so much. He was like, I want to meet this kid. Oh, that is Just awesome. Punk. It's awesome. So, yeah, welcome back to Boston. Here you are on Fest again. Do you have any good Boston stories for oh, us? Oh, my gosh. Boston and me go way back. Um, you know, I started off in a coffee shop in San Diego, and I was a folk singer at the height of grunge, and so I was going to start very grassroots, and I decided to do these residency tours. And so every, I think, Wednesday, I was in Boston at a place called the Kindle Street Cafe, mm -hmm. and I just came every single week. Wow. And the coolest crowd just came out to hear me and, like, built and built and built really organically. And this has always been one of my favorite towns. Very, awesome. like, it's a very excitable, great, very awesome musical. fans. Very musical Huge town, music yeah. town, and they're vocal, which I like. And you, you've done it all, singer-songwriter, you're a musician, actress, author. One of the things that, uh, that uh, made me laugh, and I didn't know you had this in you, but you did, I saw you on the, the Rob Lowe roast mm -hmm. when oh you God, did that thing. Right. If you haven't seen right. that, rewatch that because that <laughs> is hysterical. You were hilarious. <laughs> it was funny. I did the Howard Stern show, and he was like, what would people be surprised about you? And I was like, I'm, I'm funny. And he's like, there's no way you're funny. I was like, I know. <laughs> nobody thinks I'm funny, but I'm funny. You are funny. <laughs> <laughs> you were hysterical. So, and then really I did the Rob Lowe. So, see, Howard, I'm kind of funny. Folks, go back on YouTube and watch that. It's <laughs> worth the watch, no doubt. So Mix Fest, you're back again. We appreciate it so much. And it's all about the ladies. Hashtag girl power. Yeah. All the performers are, are ladies. That. How does that make you feel? It makes me super stoked. Um, you know, it's always been a, a somewhat light on the female department in our industry. On all sides, you know, and really Absolutely. the tech side too, the producers and the engineers, a lot of the musicians, it's just always been a little bit more male dominated. And there's no, it doesn't have to be. I just think girls need to know That's it's right. an option that they can be engineers and producers mm -hmm. and this is like a little musicians and so not just singers. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. Yeah. I love that. I'm proud of you guys. So uh, we understand new music. You're coming out with new music. Working on that right now. We I look am. forward to that. And yeah. um, somebody driving in tonight, coming to the show, what can they expect for from Jewel? I'm going to do maybe one, at least one new song, maybe two. Depends on, I have no plan. We'll okay, have to good. see just what happens. I'll we'll just right? go out there like and wing it. She's that talented. I'll... She can just go out there and wing it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> well, we appreciate the time. Thank you so yeah, much. thank you, Look guys. forward to I your set today it. at Aww, Mix Fest. Jewel, backstage, Mix Fest, Mix 104.1.